Welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host, Nancy Lewis. Today we're going to be talking about military stability uh, and then act that would help with that. And we're here today with U.S. Senator Roy Blunt. Thanks for being here. Hey, it's good to be with you. And, um, you know, that, that act is particularly about family stability in the military and how important families are uh, to the military, both families if you're serving by yourself and families if your family's with you. So let's talk about that a little bit. Um, what happens when a family is sent and, and, and they don't have much time to prepare for that? Um, I'm sure it creates a lot of issues within that family. Well, it does. And, you know, part of the military is you are constantly being transferred from one assignment to the other. Right. And, you know, for lots of military families, that works out great. And you wind up with uh, spouses who make their career work with the person who's serving. You wind up with kids who are very adaptable to new situations. But what this uh, law would do is just give the military more flexibility. In fact, it would require them to take more flexibility if families need to stay a little longer or need to go a little earlier for things like, most obvious, the end of the school year. Right. If, if the, the new assignment is a month before school is out, why, does, why, why wouldn't we give families the option of the family going ahead, ahead and staying and the person serving uh, go into the barracks or bachelor officer's quarters, uh, no real expense to the military in most bases where, particularly as there's some downsizing going on, there's always going to be uh, base housing available for a single soldier, a single Marine, a single airman or woman, and uh, uh, let the family stay just a little bit longer to finish that year. We had a couple of great stories uh, when we launched, uh, Senator Gildebrand and I launched this effort about just individual families. One uh, stationed in Germany, kids in a German-speaking school had two months left. Uh, the uh, serviceman is coming back to Virginia. Family wanted to stay for two months, couldn't be allowed. No way to move them later. You'd have to do that all on your own. It costs the same to move two months later as it does to move uh, at the time right. uh, that school's not out yet. And uh, we're just trying to find ways that those problems can be solved. Yeah, I'm sure the, the families are behind this, but you have some other heavy hitters, uh, the VFW, the American Legion, that are behind this too, right? Uh, virtually every military support group uh, sees this as a real benefit. In fact, Nancy, one morning, right, the, I think the week that uh, we announced this, I was hosting uh, a breakfast in Washington for Fort Leonard Wood that I, that I host every year uh, when they come to town. And at the table were two generals, the wives of one of them, and a retired first sergeant. I brought this topic up immediately. There were three different stories of when two weeks, four weeks, or six weeks would have made a big difference in the lives of each of those families. And if you can do things that, if families are really the strength of the military, if you do things that work with families and people stay in a little longer, they keep that training available uh, as uh, to, because they're willing to continue to serve, that's got to be a good thing. We have very little time, but I do want to ask you quickly about um, the EPA re releasing its finalized Waters of the United States rule. Um, you say that rule could have a negative impact uh, in your own state. So, so talk as quickly as you can about that. Well, it would have a negative impact, and it's, it's clearly the kind of expansion that the law doesn't allow. The law says the EPA has some authority over the navigable waters of the United States. Almost everybody that you would talk to knows what that means, except the EPA that seems to believe it means any water that can ever run into any water that can ever run into any water that can ever run into navigable water, which in our state means 99.7% of the entire land mass of the state. An authority, if they got it, they could never exercise. It's one of those crippling rules that should not be allowed to go into effect. If they want more authority, they should come to the Congress and say, navigable's not good enough for for us anymore. We want a lot more authority than that. So for both these, you're doing what you can to get in there and fight for those, right? I am indeed. All right. Thanks a lot. Thank you for being nice here. Nice to be with you. And thank you for being here. We hope to see you next time on Newsmakers.